Llevamos un mes navegando en el GAES y ayer por un momento pensamos que nos habíamos equivocado y que estábamos yendo para arriba otra vez, que estábamos en las calmas del Ecuador, pero no. Estamos en los 40 rugientes. Así, estos son los 40 rugientes del GAES. Esperemos que cambien en los próximos días porque si no, eh, no llegamos hasta mayo. Ya corta en 30 días navegando. Uh, y ves, el chafé bastante corto. Uh, todo va bien y, y bueno, y afrontemos ahora los mares del sur con muchas ganas y a la mateix esperit. So Monday the 2nd of February and you can see two low pressure systems just tracking south that will be crossing the path of Chemine Pujla and Neutrogena this evening and into tomorrow. Those two leaders about 220 miles apart and also about 175 miles away from the Antarctic exclusion zone giving themselves some room for when this cyclonic system arrives. Gaia Centros Auditivos, a busy morning for them, lots of jibes as they work their way out of this high pressure system. Renault Capteur about 150 miles behind, now into the same system. We Are Water, also a busy night for them, at one point heading upwind in very light conditions, now heading southeast to continue to make miles. One Planet, One Ocean, tracking the limit of the exclusion zone. And Spirit of Hungary, just got a ridge of high pressure to overcome, but will be back up into 20 knot winds by the end of the day. Position report for day 34, Chemine Pujolai continued to lead Neutrogena by about 230 miles, although these two front runners of course is more affected by uh, the oncoming low pressure systems just for the next 24 hours or so. Gaia Centros Auditivos pull the speeds back up to over 10 knots as they begin to work their way out of this high pressure system, while Renault Capture their speed beginning to drop now as they uh, sail into the same system, having reduced the deficit between them to about 150 miles. We Are Water experienced very light and unstable conditions over the course of last night, whereas One Planet One Ocean powering along at nearly 16 knots this morning. Spirit of Hungary just got a ridge of high pressure to overcome but should be back up into 20 knot breezes by the end of the day and they're around 200 miles away from the Cape of Good Hope currently. Fantastic actually, rather wet. Uh, we've, we've had uh, low cloud with fog uh, for, for the last few days, and so um, moisture has uh, got into everything that we own, inside and outside the boat. Uh, and so we're quite eager on running the engine today because we've got a crisis on board, and, and it is that all of our stocks are wet, and so we need to run the engine to make some heat so that we can do some laundry and dry our stocks. Um, but considering that that's the biggest problem that we have at the moment, life is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, to, to be reaching in conditions, uh, see what this boat was designed for. Uh, it was quite easy sailing, actually, for uh, for this boat. And uh, we had, you know, a few 40 knots, but the rest of it was sort of low 30s. Um, and so with uh, with either the Solent jib or the stay sail, um, we had relatively small sails, but we're absolutely flying. Uh, and so it's uh, pretty satisfying to, to put big miles uh, on the boat. It's the fastest that either Nand or, or I have, have gone in a boat. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to, to increasing that as, uh, as the race goes on. Nanda and I are very different people, but we get along uh, very well. We enjoy each other's company. Uh, so I, I enjoy talking to him about uh, his his uh, previous 
times at sea, and we're sharing stories. Uh, last night, he made me a very nice uh, tea of his own recipe, uh, which was um, loose leaf tea with a little bit of honey and uh, a drop of red wine from Lake Peloton. Uh, so we're, we're certainly sharing some nice moments at sea together. We also caught up with Conrad Coleman on Spirit of Hungary. In seventh place, Conrad reported that he and Nando were in high spirits, only dampened by the fact that the boat and all of their kit was, well, a bit damp. Still, it's a relief for this pair that the most significant problem they face right now is some slightly soggy clothing. Conrad recently emailed about some water damage that had affected the circuit boards which control the keel ram. But he and Nando have been able to re-engineer a solution. They put that to the test, jibing this morning, and reported that the keel swing had gone smoothly, so they were feeling confident in all of their repairs and enjoying the faster pace. Yesterday, Spirit of Hungary was the fastest boat on the course, covering 368 miles in 24 hours. Conrad also faced questions from some school pupils who are playing the Barcelona World Race game. And one thing they wanted to know was whether he missed friends and family after a month at sea. Conrad explained that racing around the world was a long-held dream of his, so three months away from loved ones was a sacrifice he and they were happy to make. He also spoke about he, how he and Nandor were enjoying each other's company, and how Nandor had even treated his co-skipper to some of his famous honey and wine tea. Spirit of Hungary has around 200 miles to go, before they join the rest of the fleet in the Indian Ocean. We have uh, our two leaders, Cheminé Pujula and Neutrogena, with a distance of 200, uh, around 220 miles between each other. They are now heading directly to the east, where a tropical storm formed by two tropical storms up north is heading towards their direction. Um, they will come, probably going to have to cross the path of this situation uh, within the next 24 hours. So we're going to be very vigilant and we, are, we just want to be warning them that uh, in this situation, starting from tonight until Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, can be a bit tricky with winds going up to 60 knots and uh, sea state and swell of up to 8, eight meters. So it's going to be a bit concerning, and next, next slide. <laughs> At the, behind those guys, we have here Gaes and Renault Capture. They've been jibing quite, quite a lot with a good boat speed of 12 knots and the wind direction coming from the west, west-northwest. So it's a lot of jibe and downwind. Um, along, along the ice zone, you can see. Uh, here we have We Are Water. We Are Water is having some, uh, some not very steady wind, having to, uh, to cope with upwind and downwind, and quite light, um, something between 5 and, nine, and 10 knots of, of wind. Um, they're going to catch some wind soon tomorrow. So they're going to start catching up and going uh, with a good uh, VMG. Behind this, we have Ocean, One Planet, One Ocean here. Um, they're doing 11 knots of boat speed. And uh, as well, they have a wind coming from the northwest. Uh, so it's quite reaching up, downwind, sorry, going from, from coming from northwest. And last but not least, we have Spirit of Hungary here. It's um, 2,800 miles behind, but uh, they are still um, struggling with some, some, a bit of high pressure here. And uh, going downwind in, within the next hours with the southwest wind. Last, we uh, can see some ice detection here. Um, so this has been confirmed. So we, we clearly see three icebergs uh, drifting towards that direction um, within, the, within the ice exclusion, so no danger for the boats. They all are aware of this. And slowly they will take some current heading to the south, southeast.
With the game, you too can experience what the racing skippers go through in the Barcelona World Race. What makes this unique? Well, you can sail from anywhere in the world and on any device. The game can be played on a PC, tablet or smartphone. With specialised versions of the game for each device, you can control your boat at any moment. What can you do with your yacht? Well, you can use five different sails, reef your sails, plan routes and calculate distances. All kinds of options are possible in the two-dimensional view of the game. It's also possible to visualise your boat in 3D to really see its position on the water. If you want to follow the Barcelona World Race in detail, you can do so by playing the game. There are photos, videos and emails from the real skippers with many kinds of news specific to that geographical area on the map of the game. And of course, you can compete against the real teams, so you'll always know where they are. Competitors can access up to 48 hours of weather forecasts, allowing you to plan all sorts of strategies. You can even track the paths of the real iMocker 60s. The game was born four years ago, thanks to FNOB and the Universitat Pompeii Fabra, who updated their three-dimensional online technology. With the game, you will enjoy sailing and also learn. You don't need to be an expert, but if you want to discover more, there are guides to read, as well as many features about the nature of the sea, for example the Argo Boys, which provide data about the ocean at that exact point. All of this thanks to UNESCO.